What's going on, everybody? Hope everyone is doing well today. Um, so right now in the NFL, we are all awaiting this NFL draft. And honestly, there's not too much going on right now besides these visits, which I will cover because that is the title of this video. One player who has recently visited with the Packers. Um, but right now, we're just sort of waiting. It's like we're waiting around these next couple weeks just to see and, and anticipate, you know, what the Packers are actually going to do in the draft. Having four picks in the top two rounds, which honestly, I am very, very excited about. And clearly, you know, losing Devontae Adams was tough, but it does make the draft more exciting. So I guess that's, I guess that's a positive of it. Um, you know, that we get to, I guess, have more anticipation for the draft because we're like, okay, we lost Devontae. Who are we going to fill um, Devontae's, you know, role with? Probably a few different guys coming to the draft. Plus, you also have the potential of maybe some kind of trade. Maybe the Packers, you know, really like a guy and maybe they decide to trade up into like the top 10. I don't know if, it, if it's, uh, if that's in the, uh, it is in the realm of possibilities. Who knows if it'll actually happen? But there's so many potential things that could go down, and now we are just awaiting the draft. And so it did come out uh, yesterday here from Josh Norris on Twitter. I think he works for Underdog. Uh, I think it's Fantasy. I think he said Georgia defensive lineman Devontae Wyatt is visiting the Packers today. And I think if we look at the Packers' needs, the first one I think we can all agree with is wide receiver. Obviously, we don't even really need to go into that because we've talked about that. Of, you know, a lot on this channel since Devontae Adams decided to, you know, leave the Green Bay Packers and get traded to the Las Vegas Raiders. But another position of need is definitely the interior of this Packers defensive line. We saw them last year, um, still struggle a good amount against the run. And I really do think, you know, adding a guy on the interior in this draft, it would be a great move by the Packers because at 22, it really obviously depends on who's gone before, what players are there. But I would not be opposed if the Packers did not pick a wide receiver if instead we went with the defensive lineman, a guy like Devontae White to put here alongside Kenny Clark. We did obviously add Jaron Reed from the Chiefs. Um, so hopefully he can, you know, you know, do well for the Packers. He started or he played a lot last year. I don't know if he's like, you know, a top, he's probably not a, def a top, you know, interior defensive lineman, but he's okay at least. But I think adding a guy like Devontae White could be a great move. So he is 6'3", 304 pounds. Went to the University of Georgia. PFF actually has him ranked as their number one interior defensive lineman um, in 17th, their 17th overall prospect in this draft. And I want to read here this little excerpt from PFF. They have lots of great draft information, and this is like their pros and cons, basically. So they say where he wins, get off. Wyatt wins the elite, with elite quickness. He not only possesses linear explosion, but he also has enough agility to make guards whiff. He does it all well over 300 pounds, which is rare to see. What's his role? Versatile defensive tackle. Why it's a versatile defensive tackle capable of lining up anywhere between the tackles. He's at his best when he can put his that first step to good use, but his game can still fit into any scheme. What can he improve? Power moves. Why it needs to add a physical element to his pass rushing arsenal. He's an elite athlete for the position, but he relies on that too much. He could be a bull rush threat if he wanted to be. So he is a guy who could probably play all in all three downs on defense, a versatile player. Um, and to pair him alongside Kenny Clark, you know, TJ Slayton in there as well, who I think we saw some good things from him last year. And I think coming into his second season, especially against the run, he'll definitely help us. I'm talking about TJ Slayton. So to be able to have another guy who we could rotate in there in Devontae Wyatt, who obviously would probably develop over the next couple of years, will be a great move for the Packers. And I would be just as excited if we got him, uh, you know, if we were to get some other kind of, you know, wide receiver. Because I think right now, most of us expect the Packers to draft a wide receiver in the first round. But I feel like I wouldn't be like shocked if... They decided to wait until round two because they haven't drafted a first-round wide receiver in, what is it, like 20 years or something? And they've had some success in the second round with Devontae, Jordy Nelson. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Randall Cobb also on a second-round draft pick as well. So who knows what the Packers will actually do. Watch them come in and draft, you know, two defensive players in this first round, which, I mean, honestly, whatever the Packers do, I'm not going to be too worried. Obviously, I'd rather see a wide receiver go in the first round. But I think we've seen from Brian Gutekinds in his past, you know, four years here. He has a pretty good history in the draft, when, especially when it comes to his first few picks. Um, overall, I made a video on that a few days ago, breaking it down. So even though I think, you know, we need a wide receiver in the first round, if they don't draft one, I'll be a little shocked because obviously it's a big need. But if they do that, that probably just means that they have their eye on someone else and it's probably, you know, better for the Packers overall. So honestly, I'm just going to trust in Brian Gutekinds, whatever he does. And, um, you know, he's sort of, I think he's done well for the Packers so far, drafting Jair, Eric Stokes, Elton Jenkins, Darnell Savage, so many different players. So who knows what's going to happen, but defensive lineman, interior defensive lineman could definitely be a good position to draft for the Packers as well coming into this draft. And maybe it will be Devontae Wyatt if he does, you know, stick around to pick 22. Or if the Packers really want to draft him, maybe they decide to move up a few picks, 
you know, using, I don't know, another second round, third round pick to potentially, you know, move ahead of a few teams who maybe they think could want to draft him. We've seen Brian Gudikins in the past, you know, trading up for, you know, Jordan Love, Amari Rodgers. He's definitely not opposed to do that if he has a guy that he wants to go after. So that's going to, that's, you know, one of the exciting things about this draft is with the, all the picks we have, there's no telling what could happen. We could definitely trade up. Maybe we trade back. There's so many different things that could happen in this draft. And so that's definitely, it's going to be fun and exciting to watch. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. All I wanted to cover today. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe down below. I also have a second channel, Sideline Scoop NFL. I posted a new video over there um, yesterday um, on another defensive player, a prospect. And uh, 611 of you have seen it so far. So if you want to go see it and go subscribe to that channel, I think we just hit 600 subscribers on that channel. So Sideline Scoop NFL, feel free to go check it out. I'll leave it linked in the description um, down below for those of you guys who want to go watch that video. And I'll, I'll, I'll maybe be posting more videos on there. We'll see. We'll see. It depends on how much you know time I spend on this channel, what there is to talk about. But right now, there's not too much going on for the Packers besides these visits. So we'll see what happens there. But thank you guys so much for watching as always. I really do appreciate it. All you guys who watch the video, subscribe, comment. I do appreciate it. Uh, but thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.